Hey everybody, it's Brian Jenkins with Circuit Crush and welcome to another Arduino tutorial. This time we're going to do something that we haven't done yet. We're going to talk about making sounds with the Arduino. And if you've been using Arduino for a while, you know there's a lot of different ways to make sounds. We're going to start with the simple stuff. And we're going to start by using an active buzzer, which is this little black thing here. Now, there's two different types of buzzers. You have the active and the passive. The active buzzers have circuitry built into them where you can apply a DC signal and it makes a noise. The passive ones do not. They need some kind of pulse width modulation or AC signal, something like that. So this here is an active buzzer. And I'm not even going to bother to all the schematic because this is real simple. We have one pin, or one wire rather, connected to the buzzer, and then pin 10. Okay, digital pin 10. And then we have the other wire connected to the buzzer and to ground on the Arduino. So to demonstrate what this does, I'm going to go ahead and upload the code here. So here we can hear it making a sound. And let's go ahead and take a look at the code. Actually, before we do that, these buzzers, um, you could use this for a lot of different things, okay? These buzzers are common in toys and such. You can use this, for example, if you want to make a sound when you or somebody pushes a button. Or you could use it on your robot to communicate some kind of event, whether or not the robot hit a wall or the robot when he first turned it on. We're going to go ahead and take a look at the code. All right, so here we are in the Arduino IDE taking a look at the code that produces this sound. Okay, enough of that. So let's talk about this code here. Let's go over it. Actually, it's, it's pretty simple. It's pretty simple. And here we could see we declare an integer. We're just going to call it buzzer. We're going to call it 10 or set it equal to 10. And all this does is tell us that the buzzer pin is pin 10. In the setup function, we have one line of code. All we're doing is taking pin 10, buzzer pin, and making it an output. Then we declare an integer i, and we come over here to the heart. This here, these two for loops, is really the heart of this program. This is what makes the sound, these two for loops. And we can see here that we step into the first one. We write a high to pin 10. We wait one millisecond. Remember, the delay function works with milliseconds. It works in milliseconds. So we're going to wait just one millisecond, and then we're going to make that pin low, and then wait another millisecond. And we're going to do that 80 times. Then we're going to fall out of the loop and into this for loop. And we're going to do something very similar, only we're going to do it for 2 milliseconds. Now, the sound that we were making is pretty interesting, but it's not the only sound we can make. We might want to make different kinds of sounds. And there's two ways to do that. So before I could get into how to do that, I want to let you know, guys, I love music, but... I am, am not a musician. I have like zero musical talent. And if I mix up some of the terms associated with music, like pitch and tone, and, and get them wrong, you'll have, just have to forgive me. So let's see if we can change the sound a little bit. Let's see if we can do that first by changing the delay. So I want to make this, let's change that from two to three. And we'll, we'll do both of them here, so both the three. And we'll go ahead and I gotta plug the Arduino back in here. We're gonna hear that annoying sound for a minute. Okay, we can hear it. Now I'm going to upload this code. I'm gonna bring this close to the microphone here. Hopefully you guys can hear that. And already, just, just change you one lousy little number in the delay function for the second for loop, we can hear a difference. So what if, what if we put this back to, it was at 2, right? So let's put it back to 2. And let's change this one. Let's change this one to... Oh, better put that back. 
Let's change this one to L3. Now go ahead and load it. Get a different sound. So let's try again something different. We're going to put this back to what we originally had. If this was one millisecond, this was two. And just to confirm, I want to hear the sound. So who could forget? Yeah, who could forget that, right? So let's play with this for loop. Let's make this. Uh, let's make them both a hundred iterations. What do you say? That sounds pretty similar, but the speed is different. I don't know if you guys can tell. Let's see. We can control the, the speed, for lack of, of my musical talent and, and knowing the correct term. Um, we can control the speed of the sound. I'm going to make it 50. This should be more noticeable. There you go. And we can see it's a little bit faster. Oh, and my pin came disconnected from there. There we go. So let's make that 50, and let's make this 200. And let's let's try something else here. Let's put these back, 80 and 100, and let's make this delay 1, and then this delay 3. And here we go again. Okay, so I think you guys get the point that by playing around with these variables, the delay function, and also the number of iterations in the for loop, we can control the kind of sounds it's making, the pitch, the tone, and the speed of the sound. So this is just one simple way to make sounds, and I encourage you guys to go, go ahead and create a sketch just like this and play with these values and just see for yourself all you need is a couple of wires a little buzzer and your arduino and you could see all kinds of crazy sounds you can make if you do have musical talent you might even be able to make what resembles an actual real song i'm not tell i'm not even going to try to do that okay i'm not talented enough to do that but until next time guys keep making if you're interested in arduino and microcontrollers you'll love how to get started with arduino in one day or less Get instant access now by clicking the link below in the description.